Good evening, campers, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. I'm Commander Exorcist, and we're continuing our Let's Build series here. We're building a brand new park here on Isla Nublar, 1993. A couple of things I want to do here real quick. I want to go ahead and put another aviary viewing center here. And so today, um, we have a couple of goals. For, so... I'll say we have three goals. So our first goal is to release dinosaurs into the lagoon. We're going to release dinosaurs into the aviary. And then we're going to try to get started. Well, we are going to get started on the track for the tour. So I want to get at least some of the enclosures up for the Jurassic Park tour that is going to begin right here. So let's go ahead and and so the way you do this is you click on the building and it'll bring it up here. Here's the uh, building control information. Then we'll edit the park tour and then it gives us the option uh, to decide what we want to do. So we've got track, we've got uh, concrete tour, and then we've got the Jurassic Park gate, the iconic uh, towers, the torches. And so we're going to go this way and not too far so I think we'll actually stop there and our gate make sure that the wording is faced the right way okay it's gonna go right there oh <laughs> freaking tree in front of it why is that? Go away. Um, let's go back. And this is one of the more cumbersome aspects of building is you have to select the building. There's no way to like bring it back. Like I, sh I think I should be able to click the gate or the track and continue working. So this is going to be the start point for the tour. Unfortunately, we can't do anything with the tour until we've built a track back around it. So... Some of the stuff that we build, at least initially, is not going to be permanent. Some of the things we're going to build will just be, uh, lack of a better explanation, to get us started. So um, let's build a really nice, that's a hidden one, isn't it? Yep, it's an invisible one. So let's go ahead and we're going to build a really nice five level fence down the line here and as I said before we're gonna put the gyrosphere down here and so there we go cool so we'll put the gyrosphere right there continue on with our Fence placement. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, I didn't realize the timer was the time was running. <laughs> so let's stop that for now. Um, at least initially, I'm gonna run the fence line along um, along the pathway here. I may move it back a little bit so that we can add some amenities to it. Let's go a little bit further here. Yeah, that'll do for now. That kind of get us started. So my vision, even though that's a little weird the way that was done. So the vision I have is for the park tour to kind of run out this way into this area. And then the gyrosphere will have kind of a region over here. Um, so we'll split them. So Jurassic Park over here, the Jurassic World style uh, gyrosphere or geosphere. What do they call it? Gyrosphere. Yeah. So it's cool. It's a cool ride, actually, even in the game. Um, but it has kind of the same issue with, uh, with building and the tracks. So we're going to go ahead and... Yeah, this is all nice and everything but I kind of need to be able to see what I'm doing. <laughs> so uh, we're going to remove 
some of this. So I know our track will be running through there. Awesome. So it gives me a little bit better view of where stuff is going to be. Now, um, before we do any more, let's go ahead and start. Let's work on the aviary first. So we'll do the we'll do the aviary, and we need to start with water. I like to start with water always. So I'm going to build kind of a nice little pond area here, and one right there. Is that too much water? No, I think that'll be fine. And we're going to put down some brown stuff. Make it look, look pretty. Also add some... So I like filling up... I like putting it in the water. Give kind of that tropical sense to it. And then... Let's dial this down a little bit. I don't want to put two, so I want to keep the trees from blocking the view as much as possible. Um, yeah, I really like these temperate rocks. It's something that sticks out a little bit, it's something that's a little bit easier to see. I really love the random, <laughs> the random rock placement. That's freaking cool. All right. And then... Raise it up a little bit. Especially here in the back. Give him some hills to sit on. Let's make it a little more interesting. Cool. And in just a few minutes... We have a... Yeah. Let's so get out of the thing. We have a pretty nice aviary. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start running things so that it can get to be daylight again. And... Oh, I want to go ahead and put... Now, we're not running with a lot of, of like challenge items on, so... You know, it's not a big deal that there isn't an emergency shelter <laughs> around here, but it is something that I do want to provide. It is a service that we owe our park guests. So, an emergency shelter there. And... Let's put one way down there, because that makes total sense. And... A shelter over here. I like how this one really snaps to the... Oh, it's raining! <laughs> so not only are we dealing with the darkness, but we're dealing with the rain as well. That's a lot of fun. I think... How's our... Is our emergency shelter... Oh, we don't have one here at all, do we? Hmm. Okay. There we go. Makes sense that there'd be one there. And, wow. <laughs> it's actually really nice. You could just kind of hang out in the rain. What's it like in our park in the rain? People just don't seem to care. They, they keep walking. And they keep doing what they do. It's a nice little hotel. Let's go over here and check out our our tour setup. So the way this would work is people would go through the innovation center and up to the uh, tour. And we will ride this eventually. Oh, I love that. Looks great. Looks looks great. Hey, it's daytime, but it's raining. <laughs> I gotta wait on it to stop raining, and then we'll stop well. 
All right, so now that our aviary is done, we're going to hatch some dinosaurs. And the way we hatch dinosaurs is through a hatchery. So you have to have a hatchery for each type of dino that you're going to hatch. Now for us, um, we're going to hatch Pterodon. That's the one that was in the movie that uh, picked people up. And then I am going to pick this guy. And then we will go over here. Whoops. So we've got those chosen. Go over here. And I have the... It's a... Uh, Let's do Megalodon. Let's do Megalodon. Our park is going to have a Megalodon. And I was trying to think. I don't remember which one is bigger. I think the Mosasaurus is bigger. So I want two gigantic ones. So we've got that going for us. So we got both of those uh, dinos that are being um, hatched. And then let's throw in some little some little vegetarians so I want herbivores and ideally small herbivores how many gallimimus do we get six to ten microceratus These are kind of cute. Let's do this one. And then... Uh, trying to imagine this as like a kid's enclosure as they come up. Oh, Oviraptor. That thing is weird. Antisocial. There's a lot of antisocials here. Well, this guy's kind of cool. Alright. So, we have lots of dinosaurs being harvested <laughs> or hatched. Oh, wow. So our synthesis is complete on a lot of things. So I only want to put four dinos in that, uh, in that enclosure because it's a little small. And then with the aviary... Oh, still got one. So pterodon... We'll take all three of those, and let's take three of those. Actually, let's go with that because it looks like uh, looks like we had three good eggs, and we are almost done synthesizing a megalodon. Good grief! Yep, one megalodon coming up. You can order. Order dinosaurs like you would order a pizza. All right. So we're going to release these via airlift. Okay, so those are good to go. The hatchery. Let's watch the. Uh, I don't normally watch the cutscene, but since we're recording, we'll just do this. Now and here they are. Mouthful of teeth would be scary enough, but this animal, the Dimorphodon, actually has two distinct types of teeth in its jaws, and it flies. Well, more accurately, glides. Thank you, Claire. Awesome. So we now have flying dinosaurs. <laughs> Thank God have mercy on our souls. All right, and our big ones are ready. Here we go. Let's release our Megalodon.
I've the Meg has entered options, but the building. Not many of them compared to the microcerates. Admittedly, yeah, there's a bit of a clue in the name, but I really didn't realize how small they are. With that said, they may well be cute, but that doesn't mean they're mute. Because they're certainly, uh, how should I put this? Communicative little critters. Did he just call that thing a little critter? Now, given my background in the business world, I'm Ladies pretty used to dealing with sharks. But let me tell you now, it's a whole park. world away from the one that Megalodon's from. Because you dare get in the water with this shark? Oh boy, you are not coming out. <laughs> Asset has been delivered. All right. Two titans in the same tank. The park, they want to learn something, sure, but they also want to be entertained. And this marine reptile, the Mosasaurus, is just that, a showstopper. If the T-Rex is the ruler of the dinosaurs on land, then the Mosasaurus holds that title below the waves. Make sure this animal is a premium attraction. Premium attraction, got it. People are complaining about the monorail. We're not building a monorail at the moment. We're working on other things. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, so now that we got our dinos being delivered, we're going to work on the track. So, I would like the enclosure to stop about right here. So that this is ideal for the tour. Like as far as separating uh, Jurassic World and Jurassic Park setups. Um, then obviously we'll have we'll have our setup here whatever that ends up looking like because so, you have to, you have to have you have to have protection for for the outside there has to be an inside and an outside to the park and this is where like our track back around and eventually we'll hook up so let's work on an enclosure and who gets the first enclosure of course you know who gets the first enclosure T-Rex himself gets his own space on the tour and he's gonna be first Aw, oh, man, really? <laughs> I wish there was better alignment tools at times. Okay. will be nice that's still is that okay that looks okay because we're going to cover it in trees and a bunch of other stuff the t-rex enclosure will be right up front here it'll be the first attraction that park guests see that's okay. 
And because I'm picky and I want to design all of this myself, we're going to take the trees away here. All right. I don't like that. Let's go back here and get rid of this. Cool. So this here, enclosure. Nice. There we go. Excellent. And so the way that this will work is the track will come through here. And it will run down the length of this area here. Well, it's supposed to be straight. <laughs> All right. It will be mostly straight. Maybe a little bit of a zigzag, but the park guests will not know any different. And we'll be continuing on past. So that's the T-Rex enclosure. And then over here, we're going to do another enclosure. Which actually, let's just latch it on here. We'll put some um, another carnivore. We'll find it. We'll find like a comparable carnivore set to put here. Okay. So there's kind of the basic setup um, for the first part of our tour, and then what I'd like to do is track. So the track kind of arch out here. And we're trying to find our way back. All right. So we have a uh, fully completed track for our park. And if I'm not mistaken, it'll start automatically, which is not cool because, yep, there come our little cars. And yes, there'll probably be a lot of photos with these little vehicles because when I was a kid, I wanted one of those Ford Explorers. <laughs> I think a lot of us did. Um, okay, so let's do a little bit of gardening. Gardening there. There we go. All the way down the track. We're going to focus on the T Rex enclosure first. Okay. There we go. Well, I think I messed it up. Oh, it's too big. What does this do? Okay, that's kind of that's that's nice. Add a little bit of variety. I just like it filled in as much as possible. There we go. 
And then for the T-Rex enclosure, um, we're going to put kind of a lagoon-like area over here, maybe a little bit back here for him. Um, I'm more, I, my only concern about raising is them, is the park, is the tour not being able to see him as they come through. Um, we'll figure that out. What's that? And I usually don't put T-Rex by himself. I don't know. See, I don't know if there's like a meta. I haven't been playing this game very long. I don't know if there's a meta or anything for it. But um, I typically don't put T-Rex by himself. Um, I'll usually put something else in here with him. Um, something comparable in terms of um, size, not necessarily ferocity. I don't want... I don't want another apex predator in here. I'm not interested in having my uh, T-Rex fighting or anything. Um, and then I forgot. So our enclosure. We need a gate. And let's just go ahead and put service gate right here. So you can you won't necessarily see it. Ah, that looks good. Yes, that does look good. So there's kind of our tour area to start with. And so what what you're looking at is on this side, this track is the Jurassic Park area. This area here is going to be kind of the gyrosphere area. Um I'm not interested in making this all perfect because a lot of it's going to be covered in trees. And when it comes to kind of the aesthetics for this, perfection ruins the illusion. What would be out here anyway? Maybe some raptors? Oh yes, we are going to have velociraptors. I just haven't decided where to put them yet. And the cool thing is, that, like I told you guys when we started, this is not permanent. So we can always go back and make changes when we need a gate. Oh, I need to demolish this first. So we'll need a gate. And I want to make sure the... There it is, yeah, the wording is... I want to make sure the wording was correct. Okay. And let's finish out our track. Awesome. Which will allow us to finish out our enclosure. Or at least our starting enclosure. Cool. So we have a fully enclosed um, starter set for uh, our dinos. Now, we'll put our access gate back there. And I think we're good. Almost probably good to bring in uh, bring in T Rex. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do this one too. So let me make a lagoon here. I I call it a lagoon. It's not really a lagoon. I know that. Two of these, and I want to. I'm 
create like kind of a valley effect here. And then our some ground effects. Make that bigger. There we go. <laughs> ground texture. There we go. And then we need some rocks. We can't do without the rocks. Although, we could probably do with a little more variety. Yeah, that looks nice. Cool. And so, we hop into first person view. Kind of a shot here. So there's our gate. And then we'll come down this way. And get to see T-Rex in his enclosure. And then whatever ends up being over here. Which will be the gyrosphere. So, we'll, so park guests to a certain degree are going to get both. <laughs> You're going to get to see... Uh, T-Rex on one side, and then you get to see kind of the gyrosphere area um, on the other. And you know, let's go ahead. What do we got here? What is this? Oh, this is the gyrosphere uh, telling me it's not finished, which we know that. We know that part. And it'll be done the same way, same way we route, we'll route the track down here, and then I plan to put... Let's go ahead and just drop the Jurassic World gate here. And it'll be it'll be the exact same thing. Only this time, instead of fences, it'll be an open area. So the gyrosphere travels um, into an open region. Although it's not not technically open because it's still an enclosure. There we go. Yeah. Cool. And part of this, I think, will be um, an illusion. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to finish that fence or if I'm just going to close it up using... Uh, Using trees and stuff. Speaking of trees, let's go ahead. And we're gonna and like I said, we'll some of this will probably be coming down. Probably a lot of it, but it just feels weird without any bushes or trees or anything out there. Cool. Nice. That is not too bad. So we have a functional park tour ready to go. We have the first bit of track laid for the geo, the gyrosphere, and we have a megalodon and a massasaurus. I think is what it is, the large one, um, in the lagoon. So that is a, it's a fantastic start to things. It really is. So let's uh, go ahead and let's synthesize some dinos. And this time we want we want Mr. Rex. We want the Tyrannosaur. And then uh, what's this? Tarbosaurus. Oh, this is the one I was thinking about. Majungasaurus. Delivery complete. Okay. And let's go with three of these. 
And then T-Rex. We're only going to do one of him. One's aggressive. Let's not go with the aggressive one. <laughs> let's go with... I'm, I'm okay with the intolerance, uh, but let's not go with aggressive at this point. Released via airlift. Asset to be collected. Cool. Actually, let's pause real quick. Because considering that I'm putting three of these things in here. What is going on here? Okay. Hmm, let's just kind of bring it all together. Because it doesn't need to come all the way over to the edge of the track. There we go. And to make it a little better on the, a little easier on the eyes, let's just put our gate back here. And, whoa, definitely don't need that kind of radius. Cool. Yeah, that looks good. Hopefully some dinos will show up uh, before our first car gets there. Do we have any cars that have left? Oh, they're going the wrong way. <laughs> Oops. Where's it at? Here we go. Clockwise, people. Clockwise. You're going the wrong way. All right. A dinosaur has been released. Has been raised to maturity. And we are ready to unveil the king of the dinosaurs the ultimate apex predator the t-rex and there goes our cars we are officially open everyone yeah got two nice enclosures so i think what i'm going to do is this area over here um i think we're going to put uh raptors I think it'd be kind of cool to have the raptors out here um, versus having them, you know, anywhere close to the actual part of the park where people are. So as long as they don't get out and attack the vehicles, I think we'll be all right. And here come our first, here are our first vehicles in our park to enter our new tour. This is why I fell in love with this game, is seeing your park after the work is done, seeing it come to life, and you know, getting to participate. Because I can click here, and whoa, oh, click the gate. So I can click this car, and we can ride. And so here we are, riding in the car as part of the tour. The voice you're now hearing is Richard Kiley. We spared no expense. Unfortunately, our first guests are not going to get to see the T-Rex because he hasn't been delivered yet. Asset transportation in progress. I think we do have a dino here, though, don't we? Yeah, we do. Here we go. Majungasaurus. So we have living breathing dinosaurs in our park. So that's two out of three delivered there. There's the third one coming. And then T-Rex will be on his way. Cool. Asset 
Transportation complete. Oh, I wanted to put domes inside of the uh, inside the lagoon. Oh, it's going to be obstructed for real? Alright, well I guess I'm going to have to... Cut those off. Okay. Well, that sucks. I was trying to keep those... Um... I wasn't wasn't trying to cut the lagoon area off, but apparently I had to. All right, and so these uh, viewing areas here, these are really cool. So it's a, there isn't it's a, a more iconic dinosaur than the T-Rex. Even people who don't know the difference between herbivore and carnivore know all about the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And when you see her up close, feel her gaze. You understand why the T-Rex was the ruler of the Cretaceous period. Yep, that is a beautiful T-Rex. And that is one of our top attractions here. Getting used to... Uh, I don't know, is it a boy or girl? Wow, it doesn't... It's missing a lot of stuff. Okay. I don't want to put too much forest because... That can make it hard to see. The T-Rex does want forest, so... We'll go with that. You can see her kind of checking out and making territory, expanding. And then sand. Interesting. 100% perfect. Well, 100% because dinosaur uh, quality of life is turned off at the moment. There we go. Cool. Um... What was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was going to show you guys the dome. So if you go over here and you pick the dome and we show the view, you should go down inside of the dome or inside of the lagoon. Oh, yeah. Where'd it go? <laughs> there we go. That's cool. So we've got our dome viewing areas inside. I might move I might move those later. I might move this one because I'm I don't like it being off centered. And Ah, oh, you can hear the roar of the T Rex. It's really like what's up with the cars? <laughs> cars near my house. And I think, let's do this. To be safe about it, let's put up, let's put up a barricade so that they can't really see each other. I don't want to antagonize our, our Rexy buddy here. And I think, my friends, that is going to be all for today's episode. So... Uh, we did a lot today. We got dinosaurs in the aviary. We've got dinosaurs in the lagoon. We have T-Rex at the park at this point. Uh, we survived a rainstorm. Uh, we got a few other things going on. We've built the first parts of the car tour. And plans to work on the gyrosphere tour are in work. So things are looking good. Our park is looking really nice. Still got some vacant lots out here. Lots of room to expand and try new things. Like I said, this is really just the beginning. And some of this stuff we built just to take up space, like right here, just to get the park tour going. 
so that we can kind of see what we want to do later and work with it. But overall, I think our little project is coming along nicely. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens next. Hey, everybody, thanks for hanging out with me for uh, this Let's Build episode. I'm Commander Exorcist. Take care, fly safe, and I will see you out there. Good night, everybody.